I just want to say a quick thing about that. So this is the biblical story. You're giving the kind of literal account, and I don't, I mean, most American Jews are atheists and probably don't take the story literally. But uh, nevertheless, the idea is that Abraham, in, in response to God's blessings, agreed to sacrifice his foreskin, and he was circumcised at the age of 99, as the story goes. And to be honest, I sort of understand the logic of this. If it really is a sacrifice where you know, God has given you all this great stuff to you and your progeny and you say, I'm willing to give up something of value to, value to me. I'm going to you know, cut off this part of my penis as a, as a sacrifice to the Lord. That sounds like something that I can sort of at least understand uh, as, a, as a secular person. What I don't understand is doing it to an infant who doesn't know what's going on. The infant isn't saying, yes, I'm so grateful for these good things. And so please take part of my penis as my offering to you. Instead, you're performing something on a person who cannot say no and who has no idea about your metaphysical beliefs and may very well reject them. And so I have some uh, Jewish friends who are very angry about having had the most private part of their body, in their view, permanently branded or marked with the sign of their parents' religious commitments that they then grow up not to, not to share. And uh, th this is you know, disturbing to them on a day-to-day on -day basis. They say, listen, um, I, I don't believe that uh, this uh, sacrifice is sort of imbued with all these religious and cultural values that that maybe it was to you, and yet you you made this decision for me before I could even talk, uh, much less understand the religious system into which I was being raised. And uh, you know this is very interesting because part of why in Judaism it's done so early. One theory is that it used to be a rite of passage, as it remains in most uh, communities around the world. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.